there's not one right way to get in the best shape, just like there's not one diet. My way to share love, my way to uplift is through movement. At about 16 years old, I was homeless, and at that time, all I knew how to do was to survive. And where I come from, that means you're running the streets. Definitely one of the darker times of my life. About 18 years old, I was sitting at a bus stop, and I remember looking over to my left, and there was a guy that kind of looked like me, but he was 20, 30 years older. But the light in his eyes, it died. And at that time, something spoke to me, and it told me that if I didn't really make some changes, that was gonna be me. I realized that what I learned from the streets about my body, about my mind, I could use to help others. I made a commitment to myself that I was gonna do whatever I could to elevate myself and elevate my circumstances. And that's what got me in the training game. Being in shape to me is being at your optimal level. Mind, body, spirit, unified. I know as an athlete that most of the time we're so caught up on the external that we never ever go inside, do the work, and really tap into our highest power. Yoga is a system for that. Yoga itself has helped with my mobility, it's helped with my stamina, it's helped with my flexibility, it's helped with my strength and my power. And I believe that yoga is the missing link in the sports performance space. It helps me approach my training from a more centered state. You know, most training is all about going really fast, high intensity, all out, go beast mode. And yoga essentially says slow down. It's really when we slow it down and breathe into movement that we discover a lot about ourselves. It's where we can explore those areas of our bodies that don't always get enough attention and also nurture those injuries that have happened over the years. It's just such an incredible compliment to the body. Instead of training in a way that is gonna cultivate more injuries, I train in a way that is actually gonna help me become better in my sport, in my training, and inevitably in life. At the root of yoga, it says that you are whole. How beautiful is that? How liberating is that? To be like, I am enough as is. And tomorrow I may be better, but I'm still every day as is, and that creates something that's sustainable. And it also creates something that's rooted in self-love. And when you root something in self-love, you know, how can it not grow to what it needs to be?